So in this ApparitionNet Studio video, we're going to be looking at how to use Force Host. So Force Host obviously lets you get host of a public match. Uh, you want that for pretty much whenever you're using mod tools and mod menus because most of the options inside mod tools and mod menus will only work when you are host. There is an off host modification section in ApparitionNet Studio for all the CODs and all this stuff will work when you're not the host, but all the other stuff will only work when you're host. So client modifications, cheap packages, you know, your global game variables, your custom commands, um, your, so that's like middle text and say text, uh, your host modifications, all that stuff you need to be the host of the game in order for that stuff to work. So to get host of the game, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start searching for a public match. And then as soon as we search, start searching, we click force host and it says force host enabled. Once you see time remaining, click OK. So we can see it's saying waiting for one more player. So once it gets to time remaining, like it right there, so it says time remaining, now I can click OK and boom, it'll just start the game. And that's it, you are host. So it's loading up the game, you're the only player and because you're the only player, you are the host. Now other players will be able to join once we're in the game. So now that we're in the game, you can see I'm host, you can see other people are joining. Oh, I still have the Jiggy menu on. So other people are joining and you can see they're showing up in here. So, you know, I can put God mode on. There you go, God mode enabled. All this stuff is working now. Uh, third person, there you go, you can kind of see. I know the thing's covering it, but you can see I'm in third person. So that's how you use Force Host. Now I'm also gonna show you how to use Force Host on maybe a different mod tool because obviously each tool's, um, each tool's different. So the force host works a little bit differently for you know different tools. So let's try Modern Warfare 3. So I'm gonna load up Modern Warfare 3 and load up the Modern Warfare 3 tool. So hard drive, drag this in here. So Xbox Live. Fetching online. Okay, so all we do here, uh, let me just check this one, force host it. Okay, so that's very easy. So with this one, all you have to do is basically search for a match. And as soon as you start searching for a match, click force host and then click okay. And then boom, that's it. It'll put you in a game on your own. It'll start the countdown. And as soon as the countdown finishes, the game will start. You will be the only person in the game when it first loads up. So therefore you're guaranteed to be the host. And then once the game starts, other people can then start joining in, uh, joining your session. So that is how you use Force Host. Again, it's very similar for the other COD tools. Um, so, you know, the message boxes pop up and tell you exactly what steps you have to do. Um, if there's, you know, one Force Host that's a bit more complicated that requires a few extra steps, each message box will tell you what to do and when to click, click the button. So, yeah, you're pretty much good. So that is how uh, you use the Force Host tools in ApparitionNet Studio.